I was referred to this uh, forex trader, Jared Davis. To somebody told me that you know he he watches this guy and this guy's great and I think some Barkley rating or something. He's top trader. But let me just um, do my critique of this guy or my review of his um, thought process and. Let me just kind of uh, question, what exactly is a professional trader? It's typically somebody that makes a living trading. Now, it doesn't mean that you're, a, just because you're a professional trader doesn't mean you're good at it. I know a lot of professional doctors that are being sued because they malpractice. So I don't know if this is a blanket, saying you're a professional trader and this is how professional traders trade. I just don't believe it. I really don't believe it because um, okay. Let me just uh, let me just let this guy uh, speak his piece here. I'm halfway through the video because I didn't need to have him tell me that the market was high here and it was low there. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. That's kind of like yeah, I think we can see that. Now the other thing a price does is it displays in different ways. So for example, you've got a bar chart here. We've also can see a line chart or the most popular way, the candlestick chart. Okay, right there. The most popular way. So that means it's the the best, right? If it's the most popular thing, did you ever notice the most popular thing um, is maybe not the most best thing to do? Now, the candlestick chart is the most popular form of chart analysis with professional traders. With professional traders. Is it really now? Now, I guess we're talking about people that just, they, they just get by and make a living. Don't, don't you want to just crush these markets to death? Don't you want to time the market? Don't you want clarity? Don't you want it? I do. Simply because it gives you much more information. You can it gives you too much information. Less is more. I be Zen Trader. That's me, Zen Trader see where the price is, not only where the price is and where it's been, but you can see where the major rejections came from. If you're going to see where those major rejections came from, why don't you drop down to a smaller time frame and look at the closing prices and the rhythm of what happened at that top. That's a fractal of a, of a... When you look at the market, you're looking at fractals within fractals, okay? A double bottom on a monthly, or, or just a single swing bottom on a monthly, is probably a double or triple bottom on the weekly. It just means you've got to drill down to the next fractal, you know, and, and having that wick up there, what's the point? I mean, can't you just put a bar chart up? I, I just don't, I still don't get this fascination with candles. And the problem with the candle is you got an open and a close. It's redundant. Who cares? Um, unless you're going to chop those wicks off and just look at the bodies would be better, right? Just, you forget the wick. These little wicks here show the market sold off very quickly. And So what? Did you short it up there? This is a particularly fierce reaction zone. If we okay, well, look to the left, you know. Come on. You know, fierce reaction zone. Maybe news came out. What time of day was that? Uh, professional traders. Really? You go to a bar chart, for instance, or a line chart. Oh, God forbid. Look at this beautiful triple top congestion. You can, who isn't seeing this top, 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 top? Why? And I'm buying here, by the way. I don't even know what this guy's trading. I think maybe it's a euro. I definitely have buy limits here at these pivots down here. This is clarity. This is what people want. I don't understand this complexity you worship. You know, Ayn Rand wrote about this. There's this thing that came about when people started to th overthink stuff and think they could micromanage this and they want to get rid of this and want, oh, you know, watch out for this extinct species and oh my God. It's just like, like it's, a, it's a damn nanny mentality that is this kind of like, um, you know, chaos is your friend in these markets. Fractals are your friends. The line chart is your your go-to trend line. Who can't draw a trend line on that? Try to draw a trend line on Wix, right? You can't. It, it has nothing to do with time. It's it, The time frame you're on, if you're on a one-hour chart, I don't know if this is a one-hour chart, but say it looks like a 15 or something. But like, you know, hey, who isn't... Okay, let me, let me just go on this guy. Most obviously, you don't get that same clarity. You just see where the price has been. 
just where the price has been. Now, what's more clear, clear than just where the price has been? Like, like when you go into, even if you got, went to your attorney, right? He'd set you down, and you could tell him your settlement, settlement, <laughs> your, your your emotional story, right? You could tell him how your wife is a complete this, and she does that, and she spent all my money. But at some point, he's going to say, "Well, what do you want? Like, would you want us to sue her? Do you want to settle flat? Do you want a no contest?" But this is you want a clarity, right? Without those little details, so that's why I can. Without those little details, okay. You don't want all that stuff. That's why candlesticks tend to be most important. They tend to be. So now they don't really, they tend to be. So he's not really sold on candles yet, I guess. Candlesticks tend to be most important. Now, the one thing I want to mention here is that price charts definitely get overused by retail traders. Well, that's why we use the line chart. You're overusing it because you got the candles with all that extra information. And I watched this girl who probably is very good looking because she sounded good. And she was on the cloud thing, right? She was on the Ikamushu's. And she says, well, you know, look at this candle here. we got a spinning top. Well, it's kind of a doji. And I was like, okay, you've already just wasted all your your mental thinking. I mean, you're just you're overcomplicating this stuff. You, the, you do not trade the markets, or professionals don't trade the markets, by simply staring at a price chart and waiting for it to give it a signal of which way to trade the currency on the different pairs. And the Why not? That's what you're doing. You're waiting for a signal. You're waiting for fundamental. You're waiting for the fundamental sentiment. State retail traders make is they line up all their currency pairs, they put their indicators on each one, and then they just wait to see which pair gives them a signal next. That is the worst way. Well, hopefully we're placing buy limits down where we think there's support and stops above when the market gets quiet. He doesn't speak of any, of course, this is basic charting. This is just introductory to price charts, right? You can trade, and if you do trade like that, you stand a very high chance of losing money. You always stand a high chance of losing money every time you open up a trade. It's how much you're losing. I mean, obviously, I mean, I can't believe this guy. Now, this guy's well, got 1,700 views on this thing, and he just published this thing, right? Um, I, it's just mind-blowing. It's just, it's just mind-blowing. I mean, come on, please, people. Who, who's watching this guy? I guess people are greedy. People are like, oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. The way you get your analysis is by studying the fundamentals and the sentiment the sentiment. Now, notice this. Okay, now I'm just going to um, bop down the street here and take a look at what he's talking about about this word. Now, I went to the the the, um, the site that gives me the derivations of words. Now, let's just take a look at this pertaining or to a characterized by sentiment. Having too much sentiment, apt to be swayed by prejudice. Now, he's it's an emotional thing. It's the feeling. Right? Feeling, affection, opinion. This is not good. You're not supposed to bring feelings in, right? Now, one's personal experience and feeling, I think he's talking about the mob sentiment, right? Well, who's going to gauge that? And besides, is that real? I mean, we can all see when the market's going down, right? It's what time frame you're on, for God's sakes. I mean, you got to be kidding me. This is this guy, this is what people watch. This is what people. You know, I understand that, you know, people want to belong and they want to agree and all this stuff, but how is this ever going to help you make money trading and, and manage risk and scale in and out and decide whether, you know, you can afford this trade? I mean, that's all you should not spend any time on this sentiment fundamentals. I mean, it's just garbage. And if I could go back and I could show you Jared's totally off on his calls and his things, but, you know, I'm not, you know, it's like, Really? I think we all know these guys do this for a living, right? They don't um, do the other gig, which would be like real trading, right? So so you can highlight which particular currency pair you want to trade, which direction you want to trade it in. And there you go, direction. Okay, it doesn't really matter. If you're a kind of trend trader, you're just... You're just making money all day long. If you're a trend trader, you're waiting for the thing to flag out or congest or whatever, and it's about how you're going to get in that. You can enter the market, stops, limits, how big, where's your exit, blah, blah. I mean, all that matters. It, it, professional traders, they're, I mean, the whole idea of professional trading, like, I mean, it's as if you're, well, he's a movie star in the trading world. I mean, he, he makes more money. He's the, he's the you know, the, the um, you know, the, 
the highest paid, you know, like he he won the Grammy Awards, he won the tr Trading Awards. Like he is making so much money. Well, anybody that's just like getting by and they're paying like X, they're still professionals, right? There's no such thing as like a, a professional trader. Well, look at him. There he goes. Like, yeah, there's Paul Tudor Jones. Well, yeah, Paul Tudor Jones is like, I guess he's more like me, contrarian, just like, hey, you know, look at this thing. Come on, let's just start scaling in. It's Bobby, right? <laughs> And then you use the price chart for an extra, yes, just like extra layer of analysis. So I hope that's helped. That's an introduction to price top charts. The two values are, of course, the price and the history of what the what the pair has been doing. So you can make those decisions, but you need to make it based on your existing fundamental and sentiment analysis. Okay, this is the problem. You come to the market with a bias. He says that. We got the price chart, right? The price chart's giving you where your stops go, where your entries are. That's all that matters in this game. If you think it's a game, or it's just a, you know, life should be a game too, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to make it like casual, like you don't take it so seriously. It's actually risking money. It's not just like you know shooting darts at a board. But even everybody knows shooting darts at a board with risk management is going to make you money. This guy, I mean, really fundamental and sentiment analysis the first place. Now he's putting that above all. Comes to the market with with a with a clouded mind. He's got like, you know, I heard in the news this, the Greek thing, the Greek situation. I, are you serious? Like who isn't looking for a low risk entry? In the first place. Anyways, you know, I just can't take it, I guess. I just can't take the whole kind of um this guy's a guru. He's a real trader, real results and he's verified. I mean, seriously? Give me a break. You know, let you know, just show us just show us one trade you've done and how your thinking is. Just show us one trade that you put on. Okay? Show me. You don't even know I mean, do you know what a setup is? Like a professional trader does that you got to be kidding me. The 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 candles are popular. That's it. I mean, I, I'm just going to come on wraps here. I got to stop. Or it's going to get I I'm going to get ugly.